Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Libra Sun, Moon and as well rising. A weekly tarot reading August 26th to September 1st, 2019. And bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, here to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump uh, right into it. <clears throat> All right. So the first card which stands for the topic of your week is going to be the Ten of Swords, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here, that will be the Two of Pentacles. Afterwards, it's going to be the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the Four of Pentacles. And then the last one, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Libra, that is going to be the King of Pentacles. So it does look like that this week you are going to experience the last straw or the last draw. I don't know how to say it really where I'm, you know, it's simply, it is where you cannot stand it anymore. And uh, for that reason, uh, you are to resort to some, uh, let's say, very radical. It's not even a drastic, but it's more like a, a radical actions and as well decisions that you are to take in order to improve your your circumstances. Because keeping it on in a such fashion, you know, it's only going to um, <clears throat> plummet you even deeper into the rock bottom. But before we go into that, guys, let's run the cards down one more time. So we do have the Ten of Swords, which is the topic, followed by the next one. That is going to be the Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> this is the, uh, the challenge that you need to overcome here. Then it is the Four of Pentacles standing for the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be the uh, King of Pentacles, which represents the Guidance. All right, so Ten of Swords, obviously uh, it's one of the, I can't say really worst cards in Tarot, but let's say one of the most unpleasant cards in Tarot. But in your case, it only speaks about the concept of your Libra understanding that you do not take, you know, the matters into your own hands and exert your authority and as well a yielding standpoint for requesting a better future, things are not going to change on their own accord. <clears throat> so what I'm talking about here it is that this week, like I said, is going to be the last drop in the cup, you know, it's going to be the last draw uh, or a straw, I don't know how to say it really in English, but uh, simply you will not be able to handle it anymore, whatever that is, either into your career or either into your relationship, you would simply want to put your head uh, throughout the window and just scream, I can't take it anymore, all right? And that itself, uh, it's going to put you in a very, I would say, aggressive, you know, behavior where your word is going to be a final. There won't be any shred of doubt of what you want to say or what you want to achieve in any way, either in regards to your personal life or either in regards to your career. And the good thing with such a presented follow-up of cards, either way is going to suit you, suit you. It is just it shouldn't be the way that you are finding yourself right now. So it's going to be a, a change. The week itself is going to um, 
give you a change, a change that you alone is going to fight for and is going to be better than what situation you're finding yourself at right now. The accompanied card here is going to be the Five of Swords. We do have a very strong combination here and it's just a testament. First of all, it is a active uh, supporters. It is a testament that you are not going to care anymore. I mean, it's for <clears throat> for what, for some of you is going to be because you don't have anything to lose anymore, all right? And a person who is with the back against the wall, having nothing to lose, it is the most fearsome enemy that one can have, you know, or either it is because you are going to realize that you can do it despite of that it's it's not acceptable by the others around you and etc, etc. The thing is that you are to um, acknowledge and realize, you know, how powerful you are and that throughout that power, <clears throat> You can exert your uh, your decisions and your actions so you can uh, force a dawn in your life. The next one, it is the uh, challenges that you need to overcome here and that is going to be the Four of Pentacles. So um, <clears throat> a bit of indecisiveness is what these cards here, this card here represent. It's no different than the reluctancy one has when it's trying to do the right thing, right? You may have doubt that what you are about to do, it is because it's so drastic, you know, and it is so irreversible. Um, like I said, you may have doubt that is the right thing to do, knowing that there is no going back. Once done, you know, it is a, a one-way ticket <clears throat> and you have to live with the consequences of it. But the Two of Pentacles here, <clears throat> It does shows the, uh, how can I place it, the challenge of uh, of playfulness and adaptability as well. Of course, no one can, uh, can predict with a 100% certainty what is to come, you know, nor a tower reader, nor a... Uh, um, <clears throat> astrologer or whatever, I mean, we can give you an idea, but at the end of the day, you know, what are going to be the circumstances and how you're going to face them, it's entirely up to you. So um, <clears throat> in my book, the, the biggest challenge here that you need to overcome, it's the bravery of, um, you know, tackling life as life comes around after you make your decision or action here. The accompanied card, it is the nine of wands, the formation. It is a, a passive neutrals that we do have. So you can severely diminish the uh, insecurity <clears throat> of what is to come after your actions and your decisions is if you are uh, attending to all of your estates in a sense or, or all of your positions in a sense of that those positions that you can control and that you can change according to the new dawn like i said or to the new to, to the change that it is to come. And it is li very likely, Libra, that you are to uh, realize here that you have a lot to work with. I mean, with these couple of, uh, with these couple of cards, you aren't using uh, even a, uh, a half of the potential you do have to improve your circumstances. And the challenge here is going to be to recognize how big potential you do have and how many options available as well. Only if you change a few things, you know, in, in your environment or in the way how you tackle with things in general. The next one is going to be the positive aspect and that will be the four of pentacles. So what the positive aspect is, is, is showing us, you know, <clears throat> first of all, what is going to help you and second of all, the best possible resolution of, uh, of, of that specific event. So uh, first of all, <clears throat> It does look like that you're going to be rock solid in a sense of that even though there could be some attempts people to to harm you in any way i mean either emotionally financially and etc etc uh their their actions from your rivals i mean their actions are going to prove utterly futile no cracks into your defenses if i may say it that way as you are to solidify on a very very um strong foundation and in the same time with those actions and decisions that you are to make you will be able to uh, secure your future in a way that you want it to be secure so it's going to be very very predictable for you and the more you push forward with this with this change with this new down <clears throat> the more um 
the more with ease you are to to see what times are to come in front of you the accompanied card here it is the three of wands formation it is a passive neutrals that we do have so with the three of wands and with the four of pentacles it looks like that um it's gonna take more time than uh, you probably anticipate but in a positive end all right so you may think that you don't have time okay and you have to very uh, quickly and rapidly execute this um this transition but in the same but uh, while in reality you know you will have as much time as you need because like I said, your foundations are solid, you know, uh, the achievements that you are stepping on are very solid as well and, and, and proven and the concepts that you are sitting on are very proven concepts um, and um, simply you shouldn't be uh, you shouldn't be worried that you can lose something you know of, of, of doing these radical decisions or drastic measures or whatever with attempt to improve your circumstances and the last card it is going to be the guidance the tarot is offering to you and we do have the king of pentacles telling us only one thing here libra it is that you should do something only if there is a benefit for you it is as simple as that king of pentacles it is not a person of charity it's a person of generosity but charity it is never in his book the king of pentacles gives only when he's gonna take all right so that being said <clears throat> whatever drastic decisions and actions you do they should be done in a such a fashion that is that are gonna serve you foremost of everybody else okay generosity it's only going to deprive you from benefits and from um, and from assets this this isn't a week where you have to be generous all right this is the week where you need to start thinking first and foremost for yourself the accompanied card is going to be the ace of wands the formation it is a active neutrals a uh, passive neutrals excuse me once again so the Ace of Wands uh, to the King of Pentacles here, uh, it is another testament that you do have time to prepare yourself um, accordingly to the new times which you are provoking with your decisions and with your actions. So you don't have to rush it, all right? Just take your time and uh, do what thing is best for you in a way that is going to serve you the most because you can do it that way. And only your sense of pity, commiseration and commiseration can deprive you from that. This isn't a week where you have to experience those emotions of weakness. Okay, because you may um, have pity for your rival. Let's say, you know, you defeat your rival in a certain battle, either a career battle or a relationship battle. Who knows? You know, and you feel pity for them, you know, and uh, you don't finish the job there by completely figuratively speaking destroying that person and with these two cards it seems that as soon as you turn your back on them thinking that you know you they learn their learn their lesson that you are someone to be reckoned with right they're gonna stab you in the back right? especially with the ten of swords so whenever you stand against someone and you compete you have to be ruthless as is simply these cards are pointing so uh, at the end of the day this is going to be a very positive change only for those who have what it takes and battles and then wars you know are won only by those who are worth uh, who are uh, ruthless right it's as simple as that so that being said libra this was your weekly tarot reading august 26th to uh september 1st 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around until then bye